the moon is a big white ball up in the sky, but seems to be a big hubbub about whether or not we've been standing on it before. So did we land on the moon or did we not? Now, I personally can't prove it either way. The only thing I have to go on is uh, whether or not I believe somebody else who I don't know said we did. What are we talking about? This is not this kind of, why are we going all serious now? We're talking about the moon. That mountain over there kind of looks like the surface of the moon right now. The moon is a big ball, and uh, I don't think it's flat. It seems to be kind of spherical to me, and it's supposedly tidally locked with us. Why? Why is it? Why, why are the waves pulsing like that? The moon is a big white ball with chunks taken out of it. The cavities and mountains. Are We know the moon's got a purpose though. Now what does that tell you about the way things are? Not in any amount of time could you convince me that the moon just randomly sprouted up there uh, in symbiosis with the earth on its own over millions and millions and millions and millions and millions and millions and millions. Now, you can't convince me of that. The moon is made out of cheese and I think it would have melted by now. You got a big old ball of globby mess up there. I speak science, I know the word science, uh, do your own investigation, go out to space. Do you think an ant cares about the moon at all? He's, he's determined, he's got his head down, he's doing the task. What if the moon was going to attack us? You don't know that it isn't alive. How do you know there's not some giant uh, robotic creature inside the moon who is just using that as an observation post. Pretty soon that moon's gonna open up like the Death Star. Now what if the moon was actually a big old space sea creature and its tentacles popped out one day and it just reached down and started swimming toward the Earth and then it just landed? How big is the moon compared to the Earth? Would it, if it was crawling around in California, would I see it if I was in China? How big is it? Even if it wasn't doing anything, what if it was just a peaceful moon and it was just got tentacles and it looks scary. I think we'd try to blow it up. Hey, man. Whoa. Oh. There it is. I'm trying to find the server voice. Oh, bruh. Look at all these gravity waves. Now, let's see if I can croon out a moon song without violating any copyright rules. It's the copyright challenge. All right, let's go. The moon. The moon is a four letter word, but it only has three letters. Anyway, the point is the moon, uh, it'll hit your eye like a big pizza pie. That makes sense. A pie is not a pizza. Now, if you got a dessert pizza, I'll go along with you and we'll call that a pizza pie. But let me get this straight. If it's not a dessert, it got to be a pizza pie. Why do I sound like one of the former presidents and I don't know which one? I don't get real very often, but this channel exists only for, I mean, the purpose of the channel began to communicate with family that's far away uh, and just kind of have you part of this drive, even though it's, it's a commute. It, I'm just going crazy talking to myself on a commute. The idea was to somehow garner a, a foster, garner, one of those words, a connection, a familial connection, even though we're several uh, hundred miles away. So what is it that you, whoever's watching this, I know it's maybe only one or two people, but that's fine because if it's only one other person, it's uh, it's still worth it and even to be honest if there was nobody watching it it'd still be worth it to me because it provides me some kind of creative outlet to go and edit the video and, uh, and to just be weird on the way home but to just in case there are one or two people watching it that are family uh, or even if you're not what is it that you actually want to talk about but you basically have a surrogate commuter. The moon, that's what we were talking about. And I saw the moon earlier and it was, uh, it was, it was mostly covered up.